Bill here with the Metals Minute. Today is Friday, October 21st, 2022. We have some big shaking going on in the silver market. Yesterday alone, there were nearly 14 million shares of the silver ETF, SLV. Uh, the short position shares were closed and brought to either a neutral or a long position. And this is by the institutional investors, uh, large investors, the analysts on Wall Street. Uh, that's generally the trading vehicle they often use to take positions in silver. And uh, with nearly one-third, 14, almost 13.8, 13.7 million shares of shorts closed out. That's typically a sign they don't want to be on the wrong side of that trade. We also saw a similar uh, in the last few days, 14, over 14 million shares of Barrick Gold that were short positions were closed out. So something, something's going on. And one of the issues is probably related to a lot of the debt that's uh, going to be tried to be rolled over of uh, energy companies and there's just a lot of things going on a lot of instability and uh, so the big uh, the big players are looking for uh, possible uh, ramping up of gold and silver prices so that's what's going on in the background in the deep recesses of, of Wall Street the insiders are positioning to themselves for higher silver and gold prices. We also see uh, gold has been moving east and there is a large premium uh, on the Shanghai Exchange. We've mentioned that before over the London Exchange. And one of those uh, reasons is likely due to the interest rate increases in the West a lot of the gold that's already refined that's been sitting in vaults in New York and London has been moving through Switzerland and uh, on to the eastern countries, the Middle East and Far East. So we see that movement of gold and uh, so that's, that's also considered to be a, uh, an indicator of uh, things to come and we know that the financial system. Uh, there's a lot of talk about a reset. Uh, many central banks are increasing their holdings of gold and it's also a good time for us to take the signal as Americans while the dollar is high to uh, boost our own holdings of precious metals. So we noticed the metals uh, were mixed this morning and gold and silver were both uh, going up uh, uh, as of just a few moments ago and uh, so we'll see what happens with that uh, short closing. Uh, that's very interesting to have that many shares all at once uh, of short positions closed. So the insiders know something's up and uh, we'll keep an eye on it and keep you posted. Have a great weekend. Thank you for tuning in and uh, we'll see you Lord willing next week.